there's one thing these two groups of people have in common, it's New Balance. Whether you're trying to get rid of nagging metatarsal pain or throwing fits on TikTok, or a little bit of both, New Balance has something for you. And the brand is unique in its wide-ranging appeal. I mean, you don't see Rockport dropping limited edition collabs with Todd Snyder. There's something about the New Balance brand, the design language, and probably the marketing strategy that has helped it reach far beyond the running shoe market and establish itself firmly in that lifestyle category. Quick side note, thank you to my friends at Lestrange for sponsoring this video and for making these awesome trousers that I'm gonna tell you more about in a little bit. Back to New Balance. But before all the exclusive drops, before sneakerheads and hype beasts were even a thing, New Balance put in decades of research and development in order to create some of the most comfortable sneakers that money could buy. And this focus on comfort is still a huge part of the brand's DNA. It's why New Balances were the only sneakers that Steve Jobs wore. It's why podiatrists will often recommend this brand over more popular household names like Nike or Adidas. I know this because not too long ago, I was at the podiatrist trying to figure out why my feet were hurting. I never had foot pain before. I could always just wear whatever shoes I liked. I didn't need arch support insoles. I didn't even know what pronation was. But a couple years ago, I started noticing that by the end of the day, my feet were hurting. Then they started hurting in the middle of the day. Then all the time, especially in that front metatarsal area, it didn't matter what shoes I wore, they all hurt. I was like this guy, but not as good looking. It was horrible. So I did what any red-blooded millennial would do. I asked Reddit. And one brand kept coming up over and over again, Mephisto. Just kidding, it was New Balance. Specifically, the 990 model from the brand's Made in USA collection. Supposedly, these were the full-size luxury sedan of supportive sneakers, and they are priced accordingly at $200. I ordered the 990 V6, the latest and greatest iteration of this legendary model, and I'm gonna tell you all about them right after I tell you about today's sponsor. Lestrange is a London-based menswear brand that makes modular staples designed for comfort and versatility. I love both of those things. <laughs> Me too. Their flagship piece, the 24 trouser, has a hidden elastic waistband and internal drawstring, so you can wear them comfortably all day without needing a belt. Belts are overrated. Too true. Made in Europe from regenerative cotton, these come in a bunch of different colors and two different fits, slim and relaxed. The slim fit follows the shape of your leg, but it's by no means skinny or tight. The relaxed fit is almost straight. It just has a subtle taper down to the leg opening. Both fits are meant to be rolled to the perfect length, and I love this because I like to customize the length of my pants depending on what shoes I'm wearing. In this case, I prefer slight or no break because with the relaxed fit of the trousers and the chunky sneakers, I just think it looks good. And these really are do-it-all pants. You could wear them to a, a big meeting at the office. You could go wine tasting with your friends. You could wear them on a date to an art gallery. Who am I kidding? I wear these at home. I have been wearing the 24 trouser for a couple of years now and I really enjoy them. So if you wanna check them out for yourself, I will link to these along with any discounts down below in the description. Okay, back to the video. The first time I put on the 990s, I could tell that they were built for comfort, but it wasn't until I wore them for a few days and then tried going back to my old shoes that I could really tell the difference. Like my old shoes just were not comfortable. Honestly, I don't think I'll wear most of these ever again other than two pairs that I'll talk about later. These 990 V6s are not like an Ultra Boost. They're not super squishy. They do have a little bit of give under your foot, but mostly they just feel supportive, like there aren't any pressure points that are gonna build up and get worse throughout the day. They're also roomy enough to accommodate any kind of socks or insoles. So I've been wearing them with these Superfeet Medium Arch Cushion Insoles, which are much softer than your standard Superfeet insoles, and my feet are feeling pretty good. But even without insoles, these are still more comfortable than pretty much all of my other shoes. Speaking of which, let's talk about my older shoes. I still wear some of them, like these court sneakers from Allen Edmonds. I like these because they're a bit roomier and more comfortable than other minimalist low tops like Common Projects. But they're also more premium than like a Stan Smith or Air Force One. I also wear these Adams, which are a lot narrower and more squishy than the Allen Edmonds. These are pretty dirty, as you can see. I've actually tried to clean them and it didn't work, so. If you don't like dirty shoes, maybe don't buy these in white. But they have this very soft knit upper, so uh, they're very wearable even though they're pretty snug. I also put a rigid carbon fiber insole in these, which makes the whole shoe less bendy, so it takes some pressure off the balls of your feet when you walk. According to one podiatrist, this is good for my feet. Unfortunately, none of my boots have removable insoles, even the high-end ones like Grant Stone, Yucatan. I guess it's just a boot thing, but it kind of sucks because I really can't wear these right now. 
In fact, there's only one other pair of shoes that I'm wearing a lot right now that are just as comfy as the 990s. Mephisto. Just kidding. The Brooks Adrenaline. These are the Adrenaline GTS 23s. They're just the latest model that were available when I made the purchase. I've actually had several pairs of Brooks in the past, specifically the Ghost, which is like a more minimal running shoe. But these Adrenaline are much better for my arched feet and my pronated gait. I also think these actually look pretty good for Brooks. I feel like they just kind of got this colorway right. And just like with the 990s, I can wear these with an arch support insole. They have plenty of room, super comfortable with pretty much any type of insole, but they're also very comfortable right out of the box. So throughout the week, I'm alternating between Brooks and New Balance, sometimes even in the same day. And then if I want to dress it up a little bit, I'll wear the Allen Edmonds. And that brings me to our last point style. I get that 990s or New Balance in general isn't for everybody. Some people really don't like this aesthetic. I'm actually really liking it and I think I'm going to buy more of these in the future. But they are chunky, maximalist dad shoes. They look good with slightly more relaxed outfits. I wouldn't try to wear these with skinny jeans. They're also pretty casual. I wouldn't try to dress these up too much. Luckily for me, casual is all I wear these days. And they're definitely more versatile than the Brooks. You know, the Brooks are very athletic looking. I mean, they're modern running shoes after all. They look awesome with sweats and a crew neck, really any athleisure type outfit, but I wouldn't wear them with jeans. But I am still hunting for comfortable, but slightly less sporty, slightly less casual footwear options. Maybe something like a Birkenstock Boston. I don't really know. I just know that right now comfort is my top priority and the 990s and these Brooks are working out really well. I want to thank Lestrange again for sponsoring this video, supporting the channel. I will link to the 24 trouser down below in the description along with any discount codes. If you have any suggestions for other comfortable shoe brands or models that I should check out, please drop them in the comments below. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, Stay stylish.